back from high school now.
I'm going to. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the graduation ceremonies for the Hermiston High School graduating class of 2017, the largest class in history. I expected fireworks. Thank you, Director Sean McClanahan, for the entry music. At this time, would you please stand up for the singing of the national anthem by our very own Clarissa Nitz and Bobby Crane, led by Director Jordan Bemrose Rust. Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs burned Our flag was still there. Oh, Saint, as a star spangled banner yet wave. O'er the land of the free. Thank you very much, that was wonderful. <clears throat> I would at this time like to invite to the stage our student body president, Ms. Sydney Adams, with the introduction. Okay, before I start, I'm gonna take a selfie. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Sydney Adams and I would like to thank you all for helping us celebrate this special day. This year I was honored to hold the position of ASB president and on behalf of this year's class, I would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony of the Hermiston High School class of 2017. If you have not already done so, would you please take this moment to silence your cell phones until after the ceremony and a reminder to please remain in the gym until the ceremony is over. Life is a journey, and everything we accomplish should be seen as a small step to our big future goals. Graduation is a major step to our future lives, but not an end goal itself. Our graduation should serve as a starting point to wherever our futures are meant to take us, whether it be start a career, go on to seek higher education, or take up a trade. I would like to take some time to thank the Hermiston community for encouraging us, the staff for always um, pushing us to reach our full potential, and our families for always being there and never giving up on us. We are so thankful for all of the people that have helped us become the people we are today. So thank you. I would also like to thank the people that are here to join us today. Our administration, the members of our school board, teachers, family, friends, and community members. We are so honored by your presence. As the class of 17, we have been together for 12 years. From adventures at outdoor school to those awkward middle school years, eighth grade graduation to where we are now. There have been lots of ups and downs, times of laughter and times of tears, but we've, been, we've gotten through it together. 
Although we've had some tough times, we've made it. Congratulations, class of 2K17. Thank you very much, Sydney. Now I'd like to welcome to the stage with our bienvenidos, Kelly Zapeda. Sorry, I'm short. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the graduation ceremony. El escenario. Yo quiero retarles a cada uno de ustedes para continuar adelante con ese espíritu de lucha para lograr sus próximas metas. Ya sea persiguiendo el trabajo de sus sueños, continuando su educación o viviendo con sus padres hasta que los coran. <laughs> Recuerdan, cada uno de nosotros nos ponemos nuestros propios límites o nuestras propias metas. Ustedes escojan. Así que, clase de 2017, los exhorto para seguir adelante. Porque nuestras vidas no terminan aquí, solo empiezan. Sigan adelante y gracias. Gracias, Kelly. And now I'd like to welcome to the stage Audrey Lincoln with our welcome. Good morning, fellow students, distinguished alumni, teachers, staff, family, and friends. I'm Audrey Lincoln. You may know me as one of our valedictorians, along with Matthew Rada, or as the shortest sprinter on the track team. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the graduation of the Hermeson High School Class of 2017. It is an achievement that we have all looked forward to and stressed over. From cramming in microtype sessions until your fingers cramp freshman year, or when you realize the OSAC scholarship is due in an hour and the site just crashed. But we have not made it here on our own. On behalf of the class of 2017, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge all of those who have gotten us where we are today. To our parents and guardians that are here supporting us right now, they have watched us change from little kids in cute themed backpacks to men and women who stand proud in our caps and gowns. You have been our first fans. Without your support, we would not be who we are today. And although we may not always show it, we are grateful for what you have done for us. Like making breakfast the morning of a big test or wanting to hear about our day even if we really didn't do anything. Today, we are delighted to share this moment with you. Our teachers are also here with us today. I know you hear us complain a lot, especially when senioritis kicked in the first day of senior year. <laughs> but we think the world of you all. Every teacher has inspired one of these kids sitting in front of me, and I thank you for that. You have helped us discover what it, you have helped us discover skills and traits that make us feel confident when we say we want to be mathematicians, historians, or maybe even a teacher as well. And to our students, who have been friends and family to one another, I can honestly say that the friendships I have made the past four years have been some of the highlights of my high school career. Being part of this graduating class has made me extremely proud. Through our combined efforts and the support of each other, we have survived four years at Hermiston. In this regard, we are here to celebrate an incredible class, brimming with not only knowledge, but also ambition and compassion. The Hermiston High School Class of 2017, thank you and welcome to our graduation. Thank you, Audrey. Now it's my pleasure to welcome to the podium Mr. Tom Spoo, our principal, with the announcement of honors. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2017 Hermerson High School commencement ceremony. We are here today to honor the, these students and recognize the fact that they have made it. And before noon today, they will be all formally graduated. Before we get started, I would like to recognize several people for their contributions to all that we celebrate. Please stand, and as I call your name, and, re and remain standing so that we can thank you appropriately. Dr. Fred Miyako, Superintendent. 
Bryn Browning, Assistant Superintendent. Trisha Mooney, Assistant Superintendent. Our school board, Chairwoman Karen Sherwin, Karen Sherman, Vice Chair Jenny Holthus, Board Members Don Rankin, Josh Gollier, Dave Smith, Bonnie Luisi, and Jason Middleton. And lastly, our distinguished alumnus, Mr. Bob Barton. Would all employees of the Hermerson School District, classified staff, teachers, administrators, whether you're on the floor with our students or in the stands, please stand and be recognized. All these folks have worked hard over the past 13 years inside and outside of the classroom to provide, to provide our graduates with a premier education that has prepared, prepared them for post high school experience. As a district, we have also recognize how important our parent partnerships are. Without your unwavering support of the students sitting in front of us today, we would not have been able to help them, each of them succeed. Would all of the parents and family members of our graduates please stand to be recognized? The class of 2017 is accomplished in academics, activities, and athletics. I'd like to take a few moments to share some of these accomplishments with you. In terms of significant academic recognition this year, we are naming two valedictorians. They have both earned a perfect 4.0 grade average as well as their honors diploma. You can recognize them as they wear the valedictorian medals. In addition to these two individuals, 38 others a total of 40 students have earned their honors diplomas, an indication that they have, they have met the most rigorous standards by earning, a, by earning credit in a minimum of 12 courses designated as an, as an honors course, a dual credit course, or an advanced placement course. Their course of study also spans at least four different academic, academic disciplines. Each student has met or exceeded the Oregon State benchmark in reading, writing, mathematics, and science while maintaining a grade point average of 3.5 or above. They are identified by the honors medallions around their neck. 112 students have completed a program of study. Program completers are wearing the stole color of their program. You will notice by stoles that many of the students have completed more than one program of study. We have 70 students who have earned honors recognition by completing their studies with a cumulative grade point average equal to or exceeding 3.5. These students are identified by the gold cords around their neck. We have seven students who have met the standards that allow them to be admitted into the military in one of four different service branches. These students are identified, identified by the red, white, and blue cords they are wearing. Let's give them a round of applause, please. In activities, members of the class of 2017 demonstrated leadership and skill. FFA is sending two teams to nationals in agricultural communications and dairy foods. FCCLA is sending six students to nationals. The new state FCCLA president is from Hermson High School, and we have a national officer candidate where elections will be held this summer in Nashville, Tennessee. The Performing Arts Department, the, the band sent three entries to state solo competition, performed in 17 combined concerts, sent 10 students to OMEA District 6 Honor Band, marching band competed in four competitions and three different parades, performed Fiddler on the Roof in collaboration with choir and the drama department. The choir visited and performed at four different colleges, placed second at the District 6 Choir Festival, competed at the state choir competition for the fourth year in a row, and collectively, and, and to add to that, collectively, the band and choir programs serve approximately 25% of our Hermiston High School student body on a daily basis. ASB. ASB members completed over 1,000 hours of service to their community. 
held a record four blood drives for the, Hermes, or, excuse me, the American Red Cross and collected over 290 units of blood, raised money and aided in building a school in Nicaragua with Dollar for Life, as well as led many well-attended activities, including homecoming and prom. Let's give them a round of applause, please. In the world of our Bulldog athletics, our dogs excelled in several areas this school year. Our athletic program brought home four conference and district championship and championships, and we saw 15 of our programs represent Hermiston at the state level, where they represented us with competitive, competitiveness and class each time. Those 15 programs brought back four tr team trophies, 25 individual, individuals placed at the state level, bringing home medals, including several school records, and two state champions. We had several of these athletes in front, we have several of these athletes in front of you today who have paved the way for future Bulldogs and many more who took part in these accomplishment, accomplishments uh, that will be back in the fields and in the gymnasiums next fall. Correct, congratulations to all of our athletics and activities, not only for your wonderful accomplishments, but in being tremendous, tremendous stewards of our programs and represented our school district. Financially, the class of 2017 has qualified for and earned over $4,354,000 in scholarships. Of those funds, 237,000 is from Hermiston area organizations alone. Also of note, students who participated in the Inspire program earned over 2,839,000. Students who are part of Generation College earned over 1.8 million and lastly, students who have participated in the path to scholarships earned over two million. The scholarship list, by the way, printed that I've just talked about and printed in your programs only represents those scholarships we were aware of when the, when the, when the program was, was printed. Collectively, the class of 2017 qualifies as one of the, most, as one of the finest in Hermiston High School history. Would all the members of the class of 2017 please stand and be recognized? This time, it is my honor to introduce Ms. Karen Sherman, Hermiston School District Board Chairwoman, to speak on behalf of the Board of Education. Thank you, and I will not be taking a selfie. Uh, so you can all rest easy at that, uh, because you would be here much longer if that was going to happen. Good morning, and on behalf of the Board of Directors, thank you for allowing us to be part of this very important day in each of your lives. Today we celebrate the culmination of 13 years of your educational journey. Some of you have traveled this journey together since kindergarten. Others of you have joined along the way, but you have always been known as the graduating class of 2017. Today you come together one final time as the 2017 graduating class from Hermiston High School. In less than two hours, each of you will be leaving your time at HHS. You will be entering the new phase of your lives with goals and high expectations, no longer part of this 2017 class, but as individuals. As you start this next stage, I would suggest that you reflect on those in your life who have impacted you. It may be parents, specific family members, friends or teachers who at some point did or said something that changed you in some way. Now it is time for you to realize that you are becoming that person, the one who may have a lasting impact on others and why you should never underestimate the power of one. In a writing by Charles Swindles, he has this to say about the significance of one person, and I quote, with so many people, most of whom seem so much more capable, more gifted, 
more prosperous, more important than I, who am I to think that my part amounts to much? That's what many people think. Aren't you glad that Patrick Henry didn't, and Henry Ford, and Martin Luther King Jr., and Walt Disney, and Mother Teresa? So before you allow yourself to toss this aside, thinking that's for somebody else, how much difference can I make? Go back and review the value of one." End quote. Each of you have the capability to make a difference in someone's life. And my challenge to you as you leave us is to remember that each of you are important and can contribute a great deal. Remember the incredible power you have to make someone's life better each day. Congratulations on your great accomplishments and my best wishes for a wonderful and successful future. Dr. Mayako, on behalf of the Hermiston School District Board of Education, I accept the Hermiston High School Class of 2017 for graduation. Thank you, Mrs. Sherman, and I'll tell you, what a tremendous day to be here to be able to celebrate with you graduates. I have the privilege of introducing you to our distinguished alumnus, Mr. Bob Barton, and the Distinguished Alumnus Program is all about identifying graduates who've gone out into the world, identifying the power of one that Mrs. Sherman just talked about. Graduates have been incredibly successful. We want you graduates to be able to picture yourselves in a few years what you might do to influence the world. Our Distinguished Alumnus program is designed specifically to highlight your accomplishments and we want you to stay in touch with us uh, in the years. We're looking very much forward to your accomplishments. Bob Barton was born and raised in Hermiston and he was educated throughout our school system. He spent a few brief uh, years in Milton Freewater and Baker City but he came back here and graduated from Hermiston High School in the class of 1979. After high school, he went on to the Oregon Institute of Technology uh, to earn his degree, and then he worked some time in various jobs across Oregon, Washington, and Idaho, including some time with Pacific Lasers in the Seattle area. He made his way back to Hermiston and established himself as a successful contractor and the owner of a local firm, Barton Laser Leveling. Bob was very involved in FFA while he was here at Hermiston High School, and the accomplishments of our kids in FFA this year have been highlighted as well as many of the other accomplishments. Well, those programs and activities can lead to significant impact in your life going forward. Bob's involvement in FFA did not stop in high school. He continued with those uh, connections, with his time and energy, investing time in those programs and in kids uh, that he would counsel and mentor through the years. Through this involvement and passion, he advanced through the ranks of local FFA leadership roles, then on to state leadership roles, and finally, he ended up with a position of president of the National FFA Alumni Council. That is a fantastic accomplishment and shows the value and impact of Hermiston to our country, not just to our state and our region, but to our country. Bob continues to put his leadership skills to use locally by being the current president of the Northeast Oregon Home Builders Association, and he was instrumental in helping us to set up the student home building program that we have here and has been so successful. Would you join me in a big round of applause for Mr. Bob Barton? Thank you, Fred. I, uh, I have to say, class of 2017, your accomplishments are far. I was not one that would have been wearing the banners and the bands when I went to school. I wasn't an A student. I was barely even a B student. I was the one that was in the back of the classroom and didn't really have a purpose, didn't have a passion, didn't know where life was going to take me. The day before college, my brother shows up at the shop that I was working in, puts me in a pickup, says, you're going to college in Klamath Falls. Okay? Where's Klamath Falls? 
So I drive to Klamath Falls, I enrolled in college, ended up going through two years in college, still really not knowing where life was going to take me. I hadn't found my passion. If it weren't for the ag room in the shop at that time, I probably wouldn't have even graduated. It saved my life. I didn't understand why I needed to know math. I didn't understand why history. What does science have to do with anything? I didn't get it. I didn't get it. Then I carried on in college, received degrees in welding and machining, found a little bit of a passion for things like metallurgy. Little things in life like controlled American controlled machines, CNC machines as you refer to them now. Went through and discovered why math was important for guiding the cutting tools two and three dimensionally in Boy, this is even before really computers that we know of them today. This is back when we had tapes with hole punches in them to guide the machines. And every calculation had to be done with either slide rule or what we had back then was a Texas Instruments calculator. It was a TI-21. And we would do scripts and scripts and scripts of math. Now I realize the importance of why I should have paid attention to math in the classroom. Metallurgy, I understood the sciences. I started reading the periodic tables. They fascinated me. I got it. I started to figure it out. After college, I had a couple opportunities, one working in Seattle, one working in Los Angeles. I think Hermiston back then was 4,700 people going to Los Angeles or Seattle. That wasn't in the cards for this kid. So I got really smart, and I went out and I bought a truck hauled some cows, hauled some hay, enjoyed the agricultural life, worked a little bit for family. Then one day came when there was no cows locally to haul. I was slow in the wintertime, so I had an opportunity to go get a load of lumber. Guess where that load of lumber went? Long Beach, California. I got to then drive in Los Angeles. I started hauling freight from Los Angeles up to Seattle and back. Did that for some time. After that, I, I moved back to Hermiston briefly. While traveling with my truck, I, I saw these guys doing some land leveling and things in the Central Valley of California, and they were using laser beams, and that just fascinated me. So I came back home, bought a laser, set up a machine. One day I had a phone call, a guy out of Portland. I understood you put a laser system on a machine, yeah? Would you come to Portland and help me put a laser beam on my motor grader? Well, I went to Halton Cat, brand new 12G motor grader. I uh, put a laser system on a machine for a guy by the name of Toby Toby, OK Toby Construction. And the land that he owned, I got to turn the first dirt over on what is now known as Intel. So that was one of the special moments in my life. After that, I, I went on and, and the manufacturer found out what I've done with some of their gear. And they were fascinated and wanted to know if I'd go to work for them. So I ended up going to work for a company by the name of Pacific Lasers. At that time, they were doing about you know, $30,000 a month in gross sales in the Northwest. I sold $40,000 worth of gear on my first sales call. Then I went to the next sales call. Then I went to the next sales call. Before the month was over, I sold almost a half a million dollars worth of gear that month because I got it. I understood the application for what we were doing. I moved up through the ranks. I was a territory manager. I ended up opening up a branch in Anchorage, Alaska for them. I went on to Boise, Idaho. Then the parent company bought us out, and now I was an employee of this company by the name of Spectrophysics, which is now Trimble Navigation. I was able to be on the forefront of GPS. I got to speak with many military people before GPS was really GPS. I was able to help implement GPS into the survey and the construction world. I take that with a, a lot of pride. I moved up through the ranks. I was doing dealer development for the North America Group, covered the United States and Canada. Then I had this golden opportunity. The president and CEO of Trimble Navigation came to me and says, Bob, we've got a great opportunity for you. We want you to take over Central and South America. Are you ready for that? Me and my excitement, I call my wife in Boise, Idaho. I says, honey, we've got this great opportunity. She says, honey, do you realize 
Our oldest daughter is nine, and our son is almost two, and you haven't been home in three weeks. I think it's time we do something different. Yeah, I got it. We moved back to Hermiston, Oregon in 1995 and bought out my dad's construction company and haven't looked back since. Since then, we've built this company. Um, I think we've done some pretty amazing things. One of my claims to fame is I got to tear down the hospital that I was born in. I got to build the Holiday Inn, Pioneer Seed, several different construction projects around time that we dot the landscape with. In 2000, my ag teacher, who was one of my mentors, came to me and asked, Bob, would you help us join or start this thing called the FFA Alumni? Did I mention that was the year 2000? What year were you guys born? So we're pretty close to when you guys were born, right? So I came in and I started this thing, helped start this thing called the Hermiston FFA Alumni. And the goal at that time was just to have scholarships for students. Money was tight for career and technical education. Matter of fact, there were very deep, vast cuts in what we now know as, as CTE or career and tech education. They were cutting programs all over the state. We were fighting. Matter of fact, I spent some time at the school board meetings fighting to even save our own local FFA program because there were no federal dollars, there were no state dollars. They were cutting all of the CTSOs, if it be FBLA, FCCLA, Skills USA, FFA, they were all on the chopping blocks. We had to go and fight every two years just to save these programs in the Department of Education. But my goal at that time was, by golly, we're still going to have FFA here in Hermiston, Oregon. Then the school board helped me understand how the money works, where it comes from. It says you've got to go talk to them at the state. So I ran for the state association office, was elected president of the state FFA alumni, was able, under the Kulingoski regime, uh, Governor Kulingoski was invited to sit on a panel in the Department of Education on why we needed CTE. I was able to be on that panel with several others, if they be from FBLA, FCCLA, several other doctors, people much smarter in education than I, and they wanted to know why. Well. I can't say that I helped them get it, but I think we made some inroads at that point in time. Then they helped me understand that, Mr. Barton, you know, we can only do so much because federally, you know, we get money for these programs. <laughs> what do I do next? Let's go run for the state or the national FFA Alumni Council. There, I was able to be a part of what they call the National Council for Agricultural Education. I spent uh, five years on that. In, in, the National Council is the oversight for all of agricultural education in the United States. So it's all of your ag teachers, all of your state staff, all of your, your national staff, everybody is part of that. On that board, I was the only individual that did not have a doctor in front of my name. I barely had two associate's degrees, let alone a doctorate. <clears throat> Through that time, I was able to meet with Secretary Vilsack, um, the U.S. Secretary of Agriculture, on multiple occasions. I was able to meet with U.S. Secretaries of Education, Arnie Duncan, and specifically to talk about current technical education, and that happened in about the year 2011. About 2012 is when we started to see the, the impact of the councils that I was able to be a part of really return some investment back into what we have today. CTE, as, as we know it, was, was the founding at that point in time. The, the gratitude and the honor that I had, how humble I was in that moment uh, that we started to change that was, was very overwhelming to me. We moved on um, over that tenure. Now what we see, in, in only in part because of my efforts, because there were many, 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 many others in this journey with me. But now what we see is we're starting to see federal dollars. We saw the state pass Measure 98 uh, to help focus dollars directly into CTE. And, and it's proud for me to announce this year, this class in the CTE program has a graduation rate 
of 96%. When I graduated, we were about 68% graduation rate, and the state average right now is 74%. We are the second largest graduation rate class in the state of Oregon, and the number one graduation class percentage-wise, number one in our class of school. So I'm pretty proud to be a part of that journey, and, and I'm excited for what that can do for all of you. I've got to say that, that it takes a, a village to raise each and every one of us. I know others have mentioned our community. This community, in all of my travels, is second to none in the giving, the donation, the investment that they all make in you, each one of you, this graduation class of 19, or 2017. <laughs> our community is, is, is awesome. The other part of this village is our school board. Our school board, in my opinion, the, the seven individuals sitting up here, their volunteer time is elected officials in their vision, in their dream of what we can do is priceless. I wanna thank the school board, all of your efforts, all of your vision. You guys have done a great job. I wanna thank Dr. Miyako his application of that vision, his job of the application of that vision through the administration, uh, through the staff. Wow, well done, Dr. Miyako. I, I think that we have an awful lot to be proud of. And one of the things that I really relish is I walked into the school today. You know, that, that management and application and drive and desire and passion to give each of you the best facilities that they can give goes clear down to the janitorial staff. Everybody through and through definitely takes a pride in your education, your facilities, and what we do here in the Hermosa School District. I'd be very remiss if I didn't mention our teachers. The boots on the ground, the lives you touch, the impact you make is priceless. You guys, at times, have a very thankless job, and at times you have the job of a lifetime. I had a couple teachers once tell me that uh, the best moment we have is in that teaching moment when we look into the eyes of a student and we know they got it. That's the biggest pride that the teacher has. I, uh, I thank our teachers. You guys do a wonderful job. And I know, class, you guys have a spot in a lot of your teachers' hearts as well. They will remember you, such as one of my teachers. In my journey, my teacher has been there all the way. When I was state FFA, when I was national FFA, he was always at every place that I spoke at. My FFA teacher, my ag teacher when I was in high school. So that was pretty amazing. <clears throat> I've got a few special people that I, that I really need to thank. Um, one is my past ag teacher, Mr. Chuck Miller. He was one that, <laughs> thank you. He was one that nominated for me this award. Another individual that nominated me is, is my sister, Sandy. Some of those people have seen things in me that I have never seen in myself. I, uh, I thank them for, for what they've done. My other sister Pam that's here today, the, the guidance and leadership that she has given me, and I appreciate that. And, and my kids, my own children, Shanna, Carrie, Kyle. Wow, you kids have turned out to be awesome. Here again, prodigy of, of this great school system. And most of all, my wife of 34, almost 35 years, without you, I wouldn't be here today. Thank you. I'm probably running just a little bit long on time, so here in closing, I just have a few words of advice that I'd like to give to you guys. You know, don't worry about life being fair, because it won't be. 
Find your passion, not a job. You never know whose life you will touch if you volunteer. You never know what kind of an impact you will make. Just make sure it's positive. Your friends probably won't make you any money. If you want to stay friends, don't do business with them and don't work for them. As a new graduate, be positive examples, be leaders, have good integrity and values, have faith in the future, strive every day to be better, and my favorite is make sure and keep friends on the way up because they're the same ones you're going to have on the way back down again. Lead us to unimaginable heights. This is your day. Go dogs. Thank you. Thank you, Bob, and congratulations on your recognition and your success. Hermiston is very lucky to have you. <clears throat> Before we begin the diploma presentation, if I may be so bold as to speak on behalf of all the teachers in the room, I'm pretty sure we are all dripping with pride at what you've accomplished today. I think I could say without exception that you are some of the last things we think about before we go to sleep at night and the first things we think about in the morning when we grocery shop, when we make dinner for our kids. I'm very proud of you today and congratulations. <clears throat> now for the diploma presentation, me. All right, let us begin. Emily Dodro, graduating with honors. <laughs> Isabel Bartley, graduating with honors. <laughs> Garrett Hall. Sydney Adams, graduating with honors. Hunter Thompson, graduating with honors. Audrey Lincoln, valedictorian and graduating with honors. Kelly Zepeda, graduating with honors. Jordan Leiby. Lauren Mariela Santoyo, graduating with honors. Ishmael Arenas, graduating with honors. Adam Satar. Kayla Holt, graduating with honors. Eric Madrigal Cervantes. Giovanni Salomon Orozco. <clears throat> Anthony Parales Cortez. <laughs> 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 
Zaira Preciado. Ebony Wilson. James Zwiffelhofer, graduating with honors. Hugo Enriquez Jr., graduating with honors. Jessica Maria Sandoval, graduating with honors. Cassandra Cabrera Rodriguez, graduating with honors. Jose Lopez Jr., graduating with honors. Christy Rose McGregor. Jose Angel Garcia. Whitney Baker, graduating with honors. Matthew Reda, valedictorian, graduating with honors. Kelsey Armstrong. Alexis Lambert, graduating with honors. Jenna Rambocas. All right. <laughs> Catherine Morales Garay. Cody Moss, graduating with honors. Riley Andreessen, graduating with honors. <laughs> Vanessa Ambriz Mendoza. <laughs> Varsha Mishra, graduating with honors. <laughs> Vaimuvete Enna, graduating with honors. Marie Weems. Jalyn Cook. Macy Cox. Ashlyn Mackenzie Kaysen. Desiree Ramirez. Paola Carmona. Frederick Gonzalez, graduating with honors. Wade Kirkpatrick. Bailey Wilson. Danielle Skinner, graduating with honors. <laughs> Ian Buck. Caleb Jorgensen. Emily Simon. 
Okay. <laughs> Julio Leva Fraser. <laughs> Genevieve McFarlane. Tucker Salinas. <laughs> Hayden Myers, graduating with honors. Kennard. Wesley Kennard. <laughs> Scarlett Reagan. Jose Rodriguez. Jasmine Cooper. Slade Gritz. Alexandra Barton. Leslie Ibarra. <laughs> Emily Ferguson. <laughs> Graduating with honors. <laughs> Corey Mason. <laughs> Tana Osman. <laughs> Alfredo Evila <laughs> Luis Macias <clears throat> Michaela Akers graduating with honors <laughs> Carl Hendon Jr. Caitlin Millard, graduating with honors. Jose Gonzalez Mendoza. Madison Heath, graduating with honors. Alexis Mercado. Bobby Crane. Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> Clarissa Nitz. <laughs> Edgar Morales Limas. I'll get it right. Maribel Marin. Uh-oh. Caden Caldwell. I can make one. <laughs> Kylie Harrison. <laughs> Anders Lind, graduating with honors. Mackenzie Lind, graduating with honors. Matthew Gutierrez. Nikita Jewel Mead. Giovanni Madrigal. Adon Gutierrez, Jr. <laughs> T 
Tanya Manuelos, graduating with honors. <laughs> Emily Espinosa de la Paz. <laughs> Maria Gudino Cabrera. Kenya Maldonado. Angela Garcia. Itzel Sandoval. Deborah Rodriguez. Brandon Posada. Aaron Sweek. Michaela Brock. Julian LaRue, graduating with honors. Rachel Mears, graduating with honors. Obed Palacios. <laughs> Alexis Ramirez. Bailey May Townsend. Ryan Wisner. Fidel Contreras. Sarah Contreras. Nathan Elwood. Tyler Parrish. Emilio Landon. Janessa Pruitt. Harley Rogers. Ricardo Salas Munoz. Alexia Anto. Anthony Carrillo. Maya Purvis, graduating with honors. No worries. <clears throat> Chancellor Flores. Diana Esparza, graduating with honors. Edwin Martinez Alvarez. Lily Wheeler. Blaine Benham. Joanna Pavana, graduating with honors. Oh, yeah. 
Evan Izagheri. Jesus Rodriguez. Kylie Broderick. Hunter Walls. Juliana Smith. And now, to present the class history, I'd like to welcome to the stage Ishmael Arenas. Good morning, parents, relatives, family, friends, and fellow peers. I want you all to take a deep breath and whisper to the person next to you, only two more speeches, we got this. <laughs> I like to start with the quote, you can't really prepare for the future without knowing the past, mostly because if it's well with my speech. Um, seeing that we are graduating, I thought it would be good to give you a crash course on what we should have learned so far. In elementary, we learned how to get along with other students, that there's a difference between tattletelling telling and informing. I still don't know the difference. <laughs> we learned how to do the basic addition and subtraction. One plus one equals two, unless big brother's asking, then one plus one equals three. And most importantly, that girls have cuties. In middle school, we learned pretty much the same thing, except the teachers expected us to remember the information this time. The math got a little bit harder because they assumed that because we know the alphabet and the basics of math, that they could combine the two, like a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and mx plus b equals y. Just when we thought we couldn't learn any math and science, we were introduced to high school. Then they decided to throw things like, at us like imaginary eyes, unit circles, derivatives, and story problems. I don't know about you, but story problems always made me hungry. I think it's because they always talked about food, especially jelly beans. <laughs> high school in a nutshell was four years of weird smells, looks, styles, hairs, emotion, friends, and teachers. However, I think we can all agree on one thing. The class of 2017 is probably one of the most, if not the most, historical class HHS has ever seen. I mean, just look at our numbers. The graduating class of 2017 is the biggest graduating class Hermerson has ever had. I don't know about you, but that deserves a round of applause. Thank you. We are not only academic champions, but athletic champions as well. We have girls basketball that took fifth this year at state, girls and boys track, track and field district champions, girls earning uh, third place at state and boys fifth. The boys soccer team made it to quarterfinals. Uh, oops. Oh, girls golf plays fifth at state, choir sixth at state as well, not to mention wrestling, winning districts and taking fourth at state. The class of 2017 has also been one of the funniest classes too. From Marvin's daily announcements and every accent imaginable, to the ringing of the bell at 325, every day was filled with laughter of some sort. Whether it was watching videos of Bradley walking to the front school door, which I've seen probably a hundred times, or watching Ms. Hoover tense up after playing a bad note on her violin in class. Whether it was JC stopping me at the entrance of the old commons to show off a dance move and say good morning on Wednesdays, or watching Vaimu Enna argue with Coach Fitete about who's better at Clash of Clans. <laughs> the class of 2017 sure made my day every day. Mostly because people always said, we're not laughing at you, we're laughing with you. Which I heard a lot over the past four years. I believe our class 
like other classes, also so close to each other because we grew up with each other for the past 12 years. I think this, was, this is what got us through the, uh, the ups and downs. This was very true when we had our biggest down, the passing of Brock Palmer. To some, Brock was a fellow peer. To some, a basketball teammate. To some, a family friend, a brother. But for the majority of us, a good friend. At this time, I'd like to reserve a special moment for the science of silence for Brock. Thank you. I think what made this tragic event easier was the vast amount of support we had from our school district, our community, and student body. I'd like to thank you all for that. To some, high school was terrible. To some, high school was a blast. For me, high school was memorable. I thank God for all of you because every single one of you has impacted my life in some way positively. Whether it was a smile to lighten up my day, or a friendly hello in the hallway, or a good job, or a good game after a game or competition, you guys made high school fun. Thank you. Have a fantastic summer, and go Bulldogs. Thank you, Elias. Ishmael. <laughs> and now, after a brief pause, we'll continue the diploma presentation. Let's continue. Caden Meekum. <laughs> Ellery Jones, graduating with honors. <clears throat> Alexis Angeles. <clears throat> Zulema Carrillo. Taylor Cruz, graduating with honors. <laughs> Caitlin Johnson, graduating with honors. <laughs> Wyatt Pascal, graduating with honors. <laughs> Savannah Patrick, graduating with honors. Brianna Van Fossen. Cade Dumont. Christopher Enriquez. Tiffany Eric. Dalton Ross Haynes. Kara Heipel. Paige Bonick. Elizabeth Bonick. Emily Ponton. Shyla Rowden. Isaac Munoz Ortega. Luz Cortez. Oh 
Valen Wise. Rachel Tolman. Pablo Cabeza, foreign exchange student from Spain. Victoria Corette, foreign exchange student from Australia. Haley Rom, graduating with honors. Mackenzie Boylan. Liliana Ortega. Karen Santana. Mayra Lopez. Anthony Corona. Constantine Oliver Behrens, foreign exchange student from Germany. <laughs> Luana Diarc, foreign exchange student from Brazil. <laughs> Bradley Giusti. J.C. Turnis. <laughs> Morgan Wilson, graduating with honors. <laughs> Ashley Love, graduating with honors. Riley Gamel, graduating with honors. <laughs> Kyle Kopta, graduating with honors. I forbid it. <laughs> Rachel Stone, graduating with honors. Nicole Stone, graduating with honors. Tristan Fiscus. Angelica Ramirez. Enrique Viegas. Hiram Maciel. Kaylee Pennington. Abby Rasmussen. Anae Vasquez Medrano. Gabriela Montenegro. Alexio Herrera. Tracy Sandoval. <laughs> Devin Brittner. <laughs> J. 
Jedediah Streeter. <clears throat> Christopher Jones. Samantha Stubbs. <clears throat> Miguel Ocampo. Edward Torres. Ty Knutes. Kylie Smith, graduating with honors. John Henry Line. Bailey Powers, graduating with honors. Valentino Whitesell, graduating with honors. Maite Rodriguez. Leighton Weinberger. <clears throat> Kinsey Padilla. <clears throat> Dallas Kyle, graduating with honors. Oscar Galdemez, graduating with honors. Daisy Rodriguez. <laughs> Yasmin Padilla. <laughs> Carissa Schneider. <laughs> Pedro Santoyo. Marixa Mercado. <laughs> Lionel Murillo. Nicholas M. Jones, graduating with honors and in a hurry. Alyssa Godwin. Jared Thacker, graduating with honors. Jahira Garcia Sandoval, graduating with honors. Alondra Garcia, graduating with honors. Tyler Cameron, graduating with honors. Gabriela Rosales. Autumn Denny. Alexis Carranza. Edith Martinez. Laura Banuelos. Nicole Dutzman.
Daisy Cardenas. Jorge Montoya Collin. Arturo Sandoval Alatore. Lorena Sandoval. Jose Landa. Mallory Anna Fe Mulcair. Hunter Harting. <laughs> Natalia Lewis. <laughs> Misael Oñate. Giselle Vergen. Shasta Junt. Ryan Wiley. Carla Medell, graduating with honors. Arden Calderon. Absolutely. Kyra Clayton. Austin James. Jalesley Torres. Peyton Staker. Jacob Rock. Corbin Towler. Kimberly Rodriguez. Felix Garcia. Amy Fuentes. Laura Viergrana Cardenas. Victoria Sandoval. Jerrica Reddick. Diego Gonzalez. Enrique Franco Salas. Jasmine Cano. Brady Christensen. Omar Madrigal Leon.
Ruben Lopez Carrillo Jr. Aristia Loveland. Eli Lopez. Stormy Clarkson. Holly Appleton. I'd like to extend a special thank you to our foreign exchange students for spending a year in Hermiston, Oregon. It was great having you here. <laughs> and now for the class prophecy, I'd like to welcome to the stage Jessica Sandoval. Frost once said, accept no one's definition of your life. Define yourself. With that being said, now is the time for us to define ourselves. For some, that's an easy task. For others, not so much. Some of us are sitting here today not knowing what tomorrow will bring, while some have known what they wanted to be since kindergarten and are only steps away from making that dream a reality. Regardless of which person we are, it's important for you to know that you hold the key to your own success. Success is defined by you, not by our parents, our grandparents, our classmates, or the random person that won't stop talking to you in the line at Walmart. I know I haven't had it all figured out since day one. First, I wanted to be a veterinarian, then I wanted to be a cosmetologist, then I wanted to be an oncologist, and I even thought about being a physical therapist. Now I believe, let us pray, that my passion is to help others through practicing law. I hope that there are others out there that have had the same journey, otherwise this is really awkward. The point is that you don't always have to know where you're going, that you just find yourself along the way and end up where you're supposed to be. I hope that wherever that place is, that you find true happiness when you get there. This year I heard some amazing advice from a great teacher, Mr. Doug Tevy. He told us that you shouldn't have a backup plan, not because you should not be prepared, because you always should, but because if you're already settling, then you already don't believe in yourself. He said, the only things that will stand in the way of you reaching your goals is parties, boys or girls, and bad habits. So stay clear of those and you're well on your way to success. For those of you who remember about finding your bliss in Ms. Hoover's class, now is the time to take that to heart. When I say find your bliss, I do not want to sound like one of those little notes inside the Dove chocolates. I really don't. What I mean to say is I want you to close your eyes. I want you to think about the life that you want to live, the life you think is unattainable, and I want you to get there. First, if you ask how you do that, it's goals. Lots and lots of goals. Start small, and as you become more successful, reach for the stars. And follow your bliss, and the universe will open doors for you where there are only walls. Joseph Campbell. As we're about to begin round three and the final round of names called for diploma awarding, seniors take a second and just enjoy these last few moments as high school students. It's about to change.
There's the one I've been waiting for. <laughs> Dave, here. Okay. Here we go. Alonzo Rolando Antonio Alonzo. <laughs> Rocio Garcia Garcia. <laughs> Joanna Suarez Quirarte. Isel Carcamo Romero. Ryan Lawson. Jason Torres. Alex Stephen Shelley. Devin Miracle. Ruby Hernandez. Ashlyn Muller. Ezekiel Mejia. Jose Rodelo. Jose Rodolfo Maestre. Noemi Espinosa. Luke Klupney. Justin Gosvener. Bernardino Salas Orozco. Paola Sanchez, graduating with honors. Travis Lindemann. <laughs> Shailen Gilbert, graduating with honors. <laughs> Jace Monroe. <laughs> Ricardo Avalos. Alec Wilson. <clears throat> Juan Awayo. <clears throat> Morgan Winchester. <clears throat> Damian Giles. Gabriel Laredo. Miguel Ortiz Suarez. Mauro Garcia Sanchez. Cameron Mace. Marvin Hamilton. Brandon Martin. Oh 
Garrett Williamson. Isai Alvarez. Chrissy Eve Almaguer. Yatsiri Iguera. Lorena Garcia. Daisy Sacido Munoz. Jesse Longoria. Maya Maria Munoz. Arnold Zuniga. Armando de Robles Pinto. Jeremy Nitz. Kendra Roberts. Angelina J. Lagunas. Irvin Morales. Timothy Tishy. <laughs> Gustavo Caballero. <laughs> Devin Lindley. Daniel Rohrer. Tyler Yeager. Austin Foreman. Benjamin Kronowski. Yes. Julian Rochaloe. Francisco Ariola. Victor Angel. <laughs> Alicia Garcia. <laughs> Jerry Ramirez, Jr. Zachary Chapman, graduating with honors. <laughs> Alexandra Romig. Oscar Lopez. Brandon Snyder. Hayden Blakely. James Nordquist.
Stephen Paul Serber. Right, Krista Cliff. <laughs> Jose Acevedo. <laughs> Zachary Fisher. Valeria Mendez. Anthony Garza. Karen Munoz. Special thank you to our honor guard, Reed Middleton and Eric Santana. Thank you very much. And now back to class. No, no. Okay. All right. For the farewell and the turning of the tassels, Isabel Bartley. Class of 2017, we finally made it. Despite the hard times, the sadness, and the grief that we have faced over the course of our high school journey, and there was plenty of it, we made it through with great achievements and beautiful memories. And we did it with honor and integrity. These last few years seem to have passed us by faster than we could have imagined. It's crazy, isn't it? 
There are approximately 1,460 days in four years, and yet it feels like just yesterday we walked in here for the first time as scared freshmen. And no matter who you are or how you spent these last few years here, I think we can all agree that the memories we have made will last a lifetime. The classes we took, the extracurricular activities, the social events, and all the lessons that we learned here. But it's hard to believe that all of that is over. <coughs> Excuse me. When we leave this auditorium today, we get to start over on a different kind of adventure. Some of us may stay close to home, and some of us may find ourselves in totally different continents. But wherever you find yourself, remember what shaped you. Look back on these years fondly and appreciate how you have become the person you are today. We must extend our thanks, <coughs> excuse me, to the wonderful staff and administration here at HHS who have made our time here memorable and worthwhile. Teaching us all is not easy and we really do appreciate how much you put up with. We must acknowledge our families, parents, and guardians as well. Most of us would not be here if it weren't for them. So thank you. As a class, we are privileged to have attended this school, to have had the opportunities we had, and to have known each other. Because, oh, so take a moment to reflect on all that we have achieved. Appreciate how far we have all come, because today is our day. And for your future endeavors, be all you can be, because this class has extreme potential, and I look forward to seeing where we all end up. Before I finish, I want to genuinely wish each and every one of you success in whatever you choose to pursue in your life. And now it is my honor to lead us all in the moment we've been waiting for, the turning of the tassels. So wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Class of 2017, please stand. And join me in the turning of the tassels. <laughs> 